everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and even though it may not be popular with some wrestling fans... I have a small penis. We're back at it again with another series of the AEW Unrivaled figures by Jazzwares. Series 5 continues to impress with six more AEW figures. We do get a couple of repeat characters with a new look, which kind of stinks, but I'm pretty happy with the series either way. Series 5 also brings four new AEW wrestlers into the collection, with three of those guys getting their first figure ever. Number 37 is another John Moxley. This is Mox's second figure in the main line, but seeing as he was world champion for almost a year and continues to be one of the most popular wrestlers in the world, more Mox isn't necessarily a bad thing. He's got a fierce grimace on his face and comes with the AEW World Heavyweight Championship belt. Number 38 and 39 are Scorpio Sky and Frankie Kazarian, SCU. SCU were the inaugural AEW World Tag Team Champions, so it's appropriate that the belts are included with the figures. Both these guys sport great likenesses to their real-life counterparts and come with their entrance gear. In at number 40 is the second Hangman page in the main line. This Hangman is pretty sweet actually, as he comes dressed in his long tights gear with the bandana around the face. He's also got a pitcher and glass for alcoholic consumption action. Coming in at number 41 and 42, are Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, the Jurassic Express. Both are first-time action figures and bear great resemblances to their real-life counterparts. Luchasaurus is awesome looking. He comes with two sets of hands and has his signature green tongue. Jungle Boy Jack Perry also has two sets of hands and sports some nice fine detailing on his costume as well. I have been seeing more of these in the stores, and it looks like almost the entire line is available for back order or pre-order on ringsidecollectibles.com, so hopefully Jazzwares is catching up with the demand for these things. I still don't like the fact that the boxes have to be destroyed in order to get the figures out, but beyond that, some great improvements have been made ever since Series 1. I got all six figures in the series, and I can't wait any longer, so let's take a look at Series 5 of the AEW Unrivaled Figures by Jazzwares. Alright, and here he is. It's John Moxley, the second version of John Moxley. Um, the second one in the main line, by the way. There were some other ones that were 1 in 500 special packs, uh, chase figures, if you will. Um, but this one is the second one that was available for uh, everyone ostensibly. Um, but these things, like I have said before, these things have become easier to find, and especially if you go to ringsidecollectibles.com. Lots of them available for pre-order or back order. Um, so if you do want these, just be patient. You can. You can have these if you want to have them. They are. They can be all yours for the retail price. Don't pay a scalper. Don't uh, pay the overinflated resale secondary market prices on these. You can have them as long as you're patient. You'll be able to have them all. And this one is a particular one from when he was the world heavyweight champion. And we get another, another championship belt. So if you'd missed the first two opportunities, two or three opportunities you've had to get this, here it is again. Um, and uh, so yeah, we've got another championship belt here just in case, you know, you break one, you lose one, whatever, or you weren't able to get them all. Here he is again. So another another uh, belt for your figures. You didn't have to buy a ring or anything like that to get it. Very cool, very cool. He's got, and this is John Moxley. He has a more of a grimacing face. Um, a friend of mine said that this was the best likeness so far. I gotta agree, this is what looks really, really good. They have the, the hairs sort of a strewn in the face, a great looking paint job, a paint, great looking paint job, great looking sculpt. Um, his tattoos look cool. He's just as poseable and flexible as you'd like. Has the, the, the Mox uh, entrance jacket on as he does, and uh, his uh, black and gold 
Uh, camouflage BDU pants and boots. Um, and all the, the same things that we kind of remember from the last one, except, hey, 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 look at that. We're painting balls now. And uh, we have a non-naked balls John Moxley for the collection. He looks great. And even though he's a, he's a repeat, technically, he is, a, he is different enough that I'm glad to have him in the collection. And finally... Finally, we get these guys in the collection SCU from Southern California. If you didn't already know, SCU stands for SoCal Uncensored. Um, and we have on the back of Frankie Kazarian's jacket, this is the worst town I have ever been in. Um, so, yeah, uh, SCU was comprised of Scorpio Sky. Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels um, as a trio um, and these guys these two were the original the inaugural AEW World Tag Team Champions um, way back uh, last year 2019 what, two years ago now holy shit fucking time just rolling by um, so they do come they come with the tag team titles um, and but let's take a look at Scorpio first since as far as I know now, I, I might be wrong, and maybe you can correct me in the comments if I am. I believe this, this right here, is the very first Scorpio Sky action figure uh, of all time. And, and fucking, what, what a fucking shame that is that this guy hasn't gotten a fucking action figure. Look, and I've been watching this guy forever, it feels like. I've seen this guy at many shows. Um, he was a mainstay in Southern California uh, back when I was going to shows on a regular basis out there. Seen him wrestle many times. He is a well-known, well-liked, very awesome wrestler from that scene. And uh, on the back of his jacket here, he has the SCU insignia on the back. Looks very, very cool. You can remove these and uh, they look great without them. They look great with them on. Um, we have great detail here and great posability as well. It's really awesome to get a, a Scorpio Sky figure. And now let's take a look at Frankie Kazarian. Um, Frankie Kazarian looks a little different now. He's kind of grown his hair out, but at this point in time when they were tag team champions, he had the, the buzz cut, the shaved head, if you will, and it looks pretty goddamn cool. Look at that. Look at the, look at the nice little light paint job they did on that he has his like sort of mean looking face on and his cool stuntman jacket on um with the hood and the spikes and uh, as, as we mentioned before it looks like it says kaz on his ass very very cool looking figure and um this isn't this guy's first fucking rodeo it is not frankie kazarian's first action figure if you've been paying attention because way back in the uh, in the uh, tna or impact days um, Frankie Kazarian was the future way back <laughs> way back in the in the TNA days he had, he was a TNA original if you will and uh, and has and had had action figures multiple action figures I'm sure made by Jax Pacific But anyway, this is a really, really good figure, and um, I, I like both these figures, honestly. These are great figures, a great team to have. I like that they're, they're focusing more on the tag teams now as we go forward, and we're going to have more tag teams moving forward and getting some more figures. I like it when that we're getting getting guys out of the way that we need to have and getting more of them, not not just repeats, but but guys that need, to, need representation, that need to have their own fucking figures. Uh, if we want to build a big collection of AEW figures. And um, I am happy to have these guys in my collection. They're great action figures. Let's move on. All right, and here he is from Virginia, I think. Um, it is the Hangman. Uh, Hangman Adam Page. This is the second Hangman Adam Page in the main line. And for good reason, we need another Hangman Page figure because he changed his goddamn gear. And uh, now he looks more like this. 
He's got the long trunks, long tights, whatever the fuck you want to call them, with the cowboy style belt buckle. Um, his entrance gear um, pretty much remains a little bit more of the same. Has a vest, but it, it goes with this. You have the, the nice design down the side that, that continues to the knee pad and the cowboy style boots. Um, also has the, the bandana tied up around the face. This is a separate piece. You can remove the head and um and and take that off i don't know fucking why you would um this is a really cool fucking look this is an awesome figure he comes with an extra hand so he can do his shooty gun um hand motion that you know like like he is want to do uh, like we know him for in his entrance uh but, but yeah got two grabby hands got a shooty hand and he also comes with a pitcher and uh and a low ball glass uh for for booze and action so so there's that there as well um, this is an awesome, awesome action figure. I'm super glad to have it, even though it is a repeat of a character that we've already had um, a couple of them before. I think there was there was a special edition one, um, a one in 500 or one in a thousand, whatever the fuck they were calling them. Um, but hey, don't worry about the chase figures. I don't count those in the main line. This is only number two, and it, we he was well needed. We had a, we had a costume change, so fuck it. We get a brand new costume on Hangman Adam Page. And finally, finally here today, the last two figures in the line are, are Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, the Jurassic Express. Wow, what fantastic looking figures these are. Let's take a look at Jungle Boy first. Um, Jungle Boy, wow, you know what? He seems kind of simple, but this is what he looks like. This is what his gear looks like. And if you get a closer look at it, there's tiny little details all over it. The the layered boots, the uh, the hair looks pretty fucking fantastic. It goes all the way down his back because he has super long hair. Um, the wristbands are separate pieces, and they have uh, sculpted the little the little threads, the little threads tying them together. The ties that's all sculpted. The 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 knee pads have a texture to them. Um, everything is sculpted very, very well on this. You can, you've even got his little side chop sideburns there for you on Jungle Boy. And he is a great looking figure. And if you didn't notice already when we were looking at him next to Luchasaurus, they're in scale with each other. Thank God, it only took fucking how many years of making wrestling action figures from company to company to finally get figures that are in proper scale with each other. And these, are in proper scale with each other because Luchasaurus is a big, bad motherfucker. Now let's take a look at Luchasaurus here. Wow, look at the detail on this guy. He's got his fingertips fucking painted green um, on both hands, got the tattoos. This guy is like tatted up all over his body. So we're gonna make sure they, they've got those details on there as well. Look at that, look at the tattoos on the back. Look at this thing, it's fucking so, interesting even if you didn't fucking know who this guy was as a professional wrestler as an action figure this thing is fucking great um he comes two sets of hands comes some splayed hands which i've got him in and some grabbing hands um which you can also use um i think the splayed hands are way more interesting i mean and he's got the tongue stuck out great looking detail on the mask all the little scales and horns and bumps and uh, wow, and his goatee sticking out. Very, very cool. Would have been neat if we could remove the mask, but whatever, it's sculpted onto his head. And uh, he looks he looks really, really cool. He's got the, got the kick pads and the shoes with the individual fucking toes, which I think are ridiculous, but it is what he wears. And he's got his little belt piece as well, which is a separate piece and uh, almost looks pleathery, even though it's made out of rubber. So. Wow, great looking pair of figures here. Great looking tag team. It's awesome to have even more tag teams. And as we move forward, it's only gonna get better. And I feel like the sculpts are getting better every single series. And I know that the next series has got a couple more uh, repeat characters, but even then I'm, I'm even more interested to find out what they did as far as improvements on the old ones. But it is nice to see new guys and we got two brand new guys who, as far as I know, are their very first action figures of all time, Jungle Boy 
and Luchasaurus. All right, so at the end of the day, like I always say, are these things worth it? And for my money, you can't really find better wrestling action figures for $19.99 plus tax or ship, depending on where you're going to get these things from. They don't really get much better than these when it comes to detail, when it comes to paint jobs, when it comes to sculpting, when it comes to accessories. The AEW Unrivaled Figures by Jazzwares are A-OK -okay in my book and, and pretty awesome fucking figures. And yes, absolutely, um, the WWE uh, figures that Mattel makes are great. They are great figures. Those ultimate figures that come with the extra heads and extra hands and stuff like that. Yeah, those are really good figures. And you know what? They're more expensive than these. These are the basic line when it comes to AEW. These are the are the, the, the middle of the road or the bottom of the barrel or whatever you want to call it for that line. This is this is the baseline here. The WWE has has two or three different lines of figures going at the same time. And, uh, and, and in varying in varying degrees of quality. Um, that's the thing with Mattel. They're going to make as many figures as they can for as much money as possible. And uh, and you know what? And sometimes the quality is going to... You know, anyway, Mattel, that ain't the only thing fucking Mattel's making either. But I'm not going to get here and get all stuck on talking about the differences between these two action figure lines. Um, you know what? They, they make great figures too, but these things, for my money, are the best wrestling figures that you can find out there in and god damn it these are all my favorite wrestlers in this line so it's pretty fucking cool to have these and that is aew unrivaled by jazzwares